Hey everybody, hope your day's going well. We are back with Harry Chapin Taxi. This one came highly recommended after my reaction to Cats in the Cradle. Uh, amazing song. And a lot of people recommended Taxi and other recommendations that I hopefully will get to. I like to also explore some of the songs that maybe aren't that big or, uh, you know, that aren't uh, that well known just to... You know, sometimes you find some uh, hidden gems in there and, uh, you know, I always like to discover those. So we're definitely going to be checking out more. I also know there is a song called Sequel and I believe it's a sequel to this song. So uh, definitely we're going to be checking that out. I always like uh, continuations uh, of stories and songs. So let's go. Let's go. Taxi. Great show, by the way. Remember that show? Uh, Danny DeVito, Rhea Perlman, they're still together. You know, Christopher Lloyd, oof, get out of here. It was raining hard in Frisco. I needed one more fare to make my night. A lady up ahead waved to flag me down. She got in at the light Oh, where you going to, my lady blue? It's a shame you ruined your gown in the rain She just looked out the window She said, 16 Parkside Lane Oh Something about her was familiar I could swear I've seen her face before But she said, I'm sure you're mistaken And she didn't say anything more It took a while, but she looked in the mirror Then she glanced at the license for my name A smile seemed to come to her slowly it was a sad smile just to say And she said, how are you, Harry? I said, how are you, Sue? Through the too many miles and the two little smiles I still remember you Wow and I really like the music on this one and, and of course his voice, the way he's delivering it. And, you know, just even reading the text is it's really well written, you know, by setting the scene of somebody in a taxi, you know, really only needing one more ride uh, to make his night. Right. To 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 feel like, OK, now I've, I've done enough work, I uh, made enough money and. So one more ride and it's a, this lady, you know, really well set up. Uh, even just reading without music, it could almost be like the a beginning of a chapter in a novel. Uh, just, uh, yeah, with music, uh, adding that extra layer of emotion, you know, as a writer, sometimes I'm a little bit jealous of uh, songwriters and music is that, you know, they get the music. It was like, you're cheating. <laughs> And then I'm saying to myself, just be a better writer, man. Just be a better writer. <laughs> Yo. All jokes aside, though, this it, it's really like you can see it happening right in front of your face, right? And, and right in front of your mind's eye. And that's really when you know a story is working and not really cutting to the, you know, the essence of the story. Yeah, just building up to it like uh you know this person doesn't want to talk you look just say the address nothing else nothing more and you know are you you look familiar no 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 you know just a little bit i just don't want to talk and didn't say anything more and you know, looking in the mirror and then she glanced at the thing and recognized my name and a slight sad smile came to her her face you know that's really prose like writing it's exactly how you would write it in a novel almost you know 
nothing more is needed. You know, it's not bloated. It's not uh, even in a novel, you can over exaggerate the lyrics, go to purple prose in the text and do too much. You could literally take this and put it into a novel and it would, and it would work. Dang. Harry. It was somewhere in a fairy tale I used to take her home in my car We learned about love in the back of a dodge The lesson hadn't gone too far You see, she was gonna be an actress And I was gonna learn to fly She took off to find the footlights I took off to find the sky Whoa, I've got something inside me To drive the princess blind Wow, that's an incredible line. Actually made me think about The Pretender by Jackson Brown, which is also a little bit about letting external uh, situations control your life, you know, bills, you know, all this stuff. And, and you know, what's deep inside of you, 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 you just keep it there. You never do anything with it. Oof, oof, that's crushing. Because, you know, being a dreamer myself, you know, and... Having been in these, you know, when I was younger, in these soul-sucking, soul-crushing jobs, and then trying other jobs throughout the years, and, and eventually ending up in, in IT, uh, and and then writing, you know, if, damn, you know, it's hard to, sometimes you get in that rat race, and you're only thinking about that, and then suddenly that thing inside of you, oh yeah, right, I used to be this dreamer, and now I'm I'm not. Oh, that's a great line. He, oh, I've got something inside of me, not what my life's about, because I've been letting my outside tide me over till my time runs out. That is an incredible line. Oh, wow. I'm going to sit with that, <laughs> that one after, after I stop recording. That's a great line. Just the way he put the words together. You know, we can talk about it. We can say how we feel, and I just... I can explain it in so many words, but to compress it down into lines that, ugh, yo, that make it rhyme and make it make sense and provoke so many thoughts and emotion. Incredible. He's hiding in me, illuminating my mind. Ooh, come on. That's incredible. This is the stuff I'm here for. This is the stuff that I am here for. Wow. And the music is so interesting, too. It, it seems like elements keep being added to it. Uh, wow. That was great. I had to, I had to stop it. It was just, that was a great line. Damn.
Ooh. There was not much more for us to talk about. Whatever we had once was gone. So I turned my cab into the driveway, past the gate and the fine trim logs. And she said, We must get together. But I knew it'd never be arranged. Then she <laughs> handed me twenty dollars for a 250 fare. She said, Harry, keep the change. When another man might have been angry And another man might have been hurt But another man never would have let her go I stashed the bill in my shirt And she walked away in silence It's strange how you never know But we'd both gotten what we'd asked for such a long, long time ago. You see, she was gonna be an actress, and I was gonna learn to fly. She took off to find the footlights, I took off for the sky. And here she's acting happy inside her handsome home and me i'm flying in my taxi taking tips and getting stoned hey. i go fly so high when i'm stoned wow Wow, that's great. Also, and heartbreaking too, that ending. Um, the, there are certain parts in there where you can hear the, uh, the harmonics in, with the acoustic guitars, you know, when you hold your finger close to the, to the string and then pluck it with your thumb. And it creates this, you know, really soft and, and cool effect. And uh, it almost, in, in this succession, in this uh, pattern, it sounded like a ticking clock, you know, and he also mentioned till my time runs out. Tick, 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 tick. That's really good. That's good stuff, man. It's like clock is ticking here, dude. Uh, if you still want to do something else with your life, you better do it now. But man, that like, oh yeah, we get, we should get together kind of thing. I know one time, but she hands him a 20 and says, keep the change. And it only is a 250 uh, fair. Like that's a lot of, that's a, that's a big tip, you know, uh, in comparison uh to to uh was uh to the prize so you know we're never gonna see each other again that's the message behind that one and you say another man might be angry another one might even be hurt but then again another man would have never let it go Oof. so you know what stash the bill in my shirt and just keep moving on right she walked away in silence and then saying like well, we, we both got what we wanted in the end you know he talked about his dream of of, of you know commanding the skies like maybe becoming a pilot and and she wanted to be an actress well she's acting happy right now and i'm here flying in my taxi getting high so we both got we wanted just maybe in a, in a different way that we thought wow that's great man the way he tied that all together and you know uh, how life turns out you know and meet again meet again after a few years say hey what are you up to damn you remember all our dreams and plans and what actually happened <sighs> Yeah, that's just, that's the thing that probably many, many people can relate to because we could get hit with these outside forces and we're just trying our best to to navigate the, the cards that were dealt, you to play the hand that you're dealt, right? Uh, and uh, funny enough, dreams and ambitions and goals are the first ones that get shattered um, and they get left by the wayside because of these things. It seems like they're less and less important uh, as you go through life in age uh but in my experience they really aren't uh and uh every time you walk away from them you're, you're building regret uh you're carrying you know and then 
suddenly the bag of regrets becomes uh, too much uh, to bear. Wow. Amazing stuff, man. Really good stuff. Uh, definitely looking forward to more of his music. And uh, yeah, it's really inspiring. Makes me uh, want to sharpen my own pen and, and get uh, some uh, stories uh, out there. Uh, yeah, man. Awesome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for recommending it. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.